Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here today and kind of show you what I have started working on. I, I cut out these pieces of wood for flags at the 4th of July and have these boards left over. Obviously didn't get them done, but I thought I'd turn them into some cute fall pumpkins. And um, we always seem to be tearing walls out around here, so we have lots of joint compound. And this was inspired because I wanted to be able to use sticks from the yard as the stem on the pumpkins, but I needed to add a little extra texture because I didn't just want flat paint to go from a stick to flat paint. So um, we're just gonna kind of quick go through how I made these. I've not done this before, so this is a first. Um, I tried it out last night just creating those pumpkins and thought I'd share it with you. So um, I just take the sticks from the yard, any sticks you pick up, um, you wanna kind of be sure they're either from downed branches or dead trees or something so they're so they're not fresh green sticks. And then we'll just break kind of a couple little pieces off for the stems. And then I found these staples in the shop, but you can use hot glue. If you're just doing this for something around your house, you can use hot glue and just hot glue them to your board. Um, again, I did on the boards, um, I just rounded it again with my orbital sander, so just to take soften kind of all the edges so you can see that that softens it. And um, These staples were just the right size, so if you want to get an idea kind of where to put your pumpkin, you can just take a pencil or a pen and kind of draw out. I'm gonna do another tall and another short pumpkin again. So I'll lay my sticks on the board and kind of just pencil in the pumpkin about where I want it to go. This will be another round short one in the front again. I didn't take up the whole board with the last one because I thought I'd add some words, but on this one I think I'm gonna take up a little bit more of the board. So. I'm kind of just going to draw my pumpkins on like that so I have an idea of where they're going to go. And then I'll use these staples to attach. You want to make sure when you put your stick down that you lay it so it, it will stay there. You don't want to force it to kind of go like this and then it'll start rolling back or whatever. So kind of set it wherever it'll lay comfortably or naturally on its own. down again like I said if you don't have staples if you don't have staples to do that you can go ahead and just hot glue them on they'll stay just fine if it's just a sign for your house as long as you're kind of careful in storage with it go up a little higher with that one um, we're gonna put ribbons on at the end to hide where this the staple is so you don't have to worry too much about that Gets them on there nice and secure and then from there um, I for a while I was doing a little bit of mixed media so I got this molding this light molding paste to try out to kind of add some dimension to my projects um, I don't care for the way that it goes on though it's not very thick and the texture of it is not with joint compound, it's kind of got that rough texture to it. And with this molding paste, it's it's a little bit shinier and not quite like, like the finish I wanted. So I thought I'd try both of them out on this one. And as you can see, I do definitely like that one better. So the light molding paste worked, but if you have some joint compound laying around, I thought that worked out pretty good. So um, instead of reaching into the bucket with your hand every time, I'll usually just get a paint stick or something else and pull out a little bit of joint compound to put on. And after you have your pumpkin kind of drawn onto the board, I'm gonna start with the back pumpkin, whichever one would be behind. You know, the pumpkin that's sitting in the back, that's the one you wanna start with because you can kind of wipe off that texture when you're done. And then we'll just follow our lines And you can do as little or as much as you want to on this. Um, 
don't have to be too particular with it. You just kind of want to make sure that the, the majority of the texture is on the outside of the pumpkin. So as you're pushing it, you want to push down on the inside and let the texture rest on the outside, kind of like so. I first did texture with joint compound in my bathroom about mm, probably 10 or 12 years ago. We had pink tile on the bathroom walls and I didn't like the pink tiles, but the glue wouldn't come off. We couldn't get the glue off. We'd sat there with heat guns for a long, long time and couldn't get it off and then decided to just run joint compound all over the walls to cover up the glue. So I did that and then I kind of just swirled it all over the walls and added a little bit of texture and at the time we did a nautical theme, had boats and lighthouses and boat oars. But it was a good way to get rid of the glue on the wall. Also, not all pumpkins are perfect, so don't worry too much if if your lines aren't straight or it's not quite right. Just blend it or build it up a little more, make a little thicker pumpkin. Again, like I said, we're going to put ribbons right here so we don't have to worry too much about how that looks right in the center. And I'm just fading the bottoms out because I kind of want the pumpkin to appear as if it's running off the bottom of the piece of wood. So. So that is it for putting, adding the texture. And then you'll want that to make sure that that fully dries so you don't have that coming off. I want that pumpkin to be a little bit higher. There we go. And you can see it's pretty workable and you can just wipe it off if you don't like it and work around it. But all right. this one that's already dry. So let that one sit for about 24 hours. That was about how long that one was there. And All right, empty the sticks off my plate and then we'll start painting. I'm on kind of a white pumpkin kick. So I'm gonna go with white and then use a gray for the shading on it. The red and orange pumpkins are really pretty too. If you did a like a brown shading on the text on the orange pumpkin or the red pumpkin, um, this is a warm metal color. I got this one at Target, and I really wanted to try this one. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought it would might make a neat little shine to the pumpkins too, just to highlight the texture on them. Now that we've got that on there. Handy to have a sink next to your workspace.
some of the turquoise pumpkins. That'd be really pretty too to add some color to these. Um, you could actually do your leaves. Instead of doing the ribbon on the top around this space, you could um, use that same joint compound and make leaves. Do textured leaves on the top of it. That'd look cool too. Like I said, I just really wanted to use a, a branch from the yard as the stem, and I didn't want it to jump from a flat painted pumpkin into an upright stem, so add some texture. And then I just dripped on the, on the pumpkin. I've got a hair, so I thought I'd try to get that hair out, and I ended up dripping on the pumpkin. I like that the wood shows through. I think it just gives it a little more character. I'm going outside the texture just a little bit for the paint is because I have my lines that I drew on there and they are I didn't quite cover them up with the texture so I'm going to bring my paint just outside that line a little bit and like I said about that molding paste though I'm not sure I love it it's kind of a almost looks like a a glue dried on there and Kind of a goofy clear color on it. Won't matter too much when you're painting it, but. If you guys try some of these videos, I would love to see your work after you've done them. If you send me pictures or whatever, I'd love to see you guys trying some of this stuff. You could do it on any kind of wood that you have laying around again. Just use whatever you got. If you know somebody that does some woodworking and has leftover scraps or... We even have a local place that just throws away chunks of wood. It's like a... Um, they must have a construction company and then they've got just a free bin sitting right outside their storage facility and you can really go by there and pick up wood anytime. So usually not too tough to come across a piece of wood somewhere or another. I'm going to go in with my gray, mix that gray and white just a little bit, and then I want to hit these. Nope, I didn't need to mix the white. It's not dark enough if I do that, so I'm just going to go in in where the shading where would be the shallow side of that ridge on the pumpkin. Don't be afraid to leave a little extra paint to give you that added texture, too. Okay, 
there we go. I'm, I'm going to wait on the highlighted color and add that afterwards. I think it's a little too wet. If I try to do it right now, I don't think it's going to... Yeah. I'm going to wait. Once it dries, then we'll come back in and add a little bit of that just to give it a little shine right on the ridge. There's not too much. A little more paint can't cover up. <laughs> there we go. Your textured pumpkins. And then again, you can add your ribbon. If you want to come in and um, just cut your ribbon on both ends, fold it in half, and cut towards the center like that to get these angles, and then tie your ribbon up with a little bit of jute. I'm going to come in with a different color, this neutral brown color. And then actually, I had an old flannel shirt that I really liked the look of. Take that and do the same thing, cutting off each of the ends. <laughs> Helps if you go the right direction. <laughs> Let's go that way. There we go. Yep. Now it's going to be a little too short, so then we just go in. Actually, let's just use this one right in between. Cut these ends down. Still too big on this one. You can pretty much use whatever fabric you've got laying around. Just find the colors that you kind of want. And yeah, about like that. I'm always got jute somewhere along around. Seems to be laying around everywhere here. There we go. So I'll just make a couple bows and then this I will hot glue on. So I know I used a staple for the stem just to kind of hold it on there a little bit longer, but for the ribbon, we'll just go with a, a glue on that. So bend it up a little bit. And there you go. Add your bow, hot glue that on and make a couple of those. You can really do them in any color, any shape or size. and. For a little bit laying around the house, you've got yourself a cute little pumpkin fall decor to set on the mantle. So if you have any questions, comment below or um, send me pictures when you get yours done. Thanks, guys.